I decided to be a community manager because I love working with people, getting to know people, making sure that my residents are aware that I am available to either answer their email, their phone call, um, whether it's face to face when I'm on site at an office, just because they're one individual owner that they don't matter, it's that individual that matters the most. A typical day for a community manager could uh be pretty much anything. You just never really know what, what to expect when you walk in the door, which is pretty refreshing for a job. Challenges in your role as community manager are definitely dealing with the stress of the job. It's really important to not take things personal and really keep it in perspective. At the end of the day, this is the homeowner's biggest investment most of the time, so they're very passionate about their home. It creates a little bit of diversity in your day. So dealing with different personalities, dealing with what's important to them, it keeps you on your toes and um, it's, it's kind of nice to have that, um, you know, dealing with uh, different people. It keeps things new and fresh. Some of the qualities that you have to have to be successful in this role is you have to be super organized. You have to be able to prioritize your workload so that you can take on those tasks that come in between. I'm motivated by the residents at my property. So maintaining their property values, making sure they get a great customer service relationship for my team and my staff and for myself, that's the biggest motivation I could possibly have. I have a client that has a phone bill that was $175 and just by making a quick phone call, I got it down to $49 a month. So just trying to improve it for them, making the small changes really helps build trust. I'd say the most rewarding aspects of community management would probably be that feeling at the end of the day that you know you were able to at least make some kind of difference in people's everyday lives. This this isn't their work lives, this is their home their home lives. That's the biggest investment is their home and the communities that they live in. It gets you out of the office. It's not just an office job. You have interactions with a variety of different people. You get to be outside and it's a good mixture. I thought that first service would be a great fit for me because it's one of the largest companies that I know of for property management. Team support at First Service Residential, it's a lot, definitely a lot more in-depth than other companies. It makes it easier to have someone to fall back on if ever you're in a tight spot. So a lot of times at another place or another company, um, you may not have that support just because there's such a lack of, of personnel, for example. So it just makes it a lot easier to be a community manager and fulfill our role here when you know you have someone that's going to have your back. I decided to become a community manager uh, because it offered a fantastic life-work balance. If I need to pick up a sick child at school or uh, drop off a child a little later in the morning, I'm able to take that time and make it up later. The culture at First Service Residential looks like a family to me. It doesn't seem like an organization or a company. You know, it's a place that you want to work where you know you have support. I would tell somebody to become a community manager because I think it provides great career growth. With First Service Residential, they have showed me that there are so many different opportunities within the industry that I never even knew were there. The opportunity of managing a, a high rise in a downtown area or a master community, those are some of the things that I would be looking for in the future and I know those opportunities are there.